got a jacket review. It's by Viking Cycle and it's called the Ironside. And I tell you, it's a nice jacket. It's really breathable. I will have links below in the description for this jacket. But why should I talk about it here? Why am I on the bike? Let's just dive down and look at it. Okay, so here's what we got guys. This jacket has a lot of features, so I'll try and get through them here as quickly as possible for you. But there's a lot to this jacket. On the cuffs, it has Velcro, so you can cinch that around on your gloves. It also has a nice little mesh on the liner to help keep wind from blowing up in there. We have adjustable snaps on the sleeves so that you can uh, cinch these sleeves down and it'll help keep your elbow armor in place on your elbows. On the sleeve it has a removable Viking patch that sticks on with Velcro so you can add your own patch on there if you would like. Around the collar we do have a Velcro on the collar and a nice heavy duty zipper that goes down. We have two pockets on the front. They are pretty wide and pretty deep. You can stick your phone in there and on the inside of each one of these pockets is a little pass through so you can pass your headphones in there and route them to come out through this little pocket up in here if you like to wear headphones. On the waist we have two large hand pockets down near the bottom. On the right side it also comes with a little clip so you can attach your keys and not have to worry about losing them or them falling out of your pocket. On the waist we have some belts that you can cinch up so that you can get it tight around your waist. Let's take a look at the inside here. On the top we have a little small pocket that goes down a couple inches. Here we have a pin and our knife clip and it goes down pretty far. You can keep you some spam cards in there if you want. We also have a nice deep side pocket on the side. It also has little clips on it so you can run the wire up through your jacket if you wear headphones while you're riding. On the opposite side we have the same thing. A side, nice deep side pocket, small pocket in the front with the pass through for your headphones and a knife and our pin pocket. Uh, you could put your sunglasses in there too. It does have a removable liner. Let's take that out. On the sleeves you will notice that there is a white button and a black button so that you don't have your sleeves twisted up in there and they don't uh, come up into your jacket when you take it off. So there's a white button that goes on one side and a black button that goes on the other side. After you have those unbuttoned and the liner unzipped, it should come right out. So there, there is an extra pocket that is just on the lining itself and you can see those sleeves with the cuffs how they cinch around your wrist so that you don't get wind blowing up in there. When you do remove the liner, underneath that liner there's also another extra pocket that has some padding on it so you can have like a little tablet or something like that to keep with you. It does have the removable backplate armor. So you can see this is the backplate armor and it feels like it's about a quarter of an inch thick. It seems like it would do a pretty decent job in protecting you. Also around the collar, it has a little flap here with some Velcro. So if you have a Velcro attached hoodie, you can attach that to it. It does have the extended flap around the bottom. And even with removing the back armor, there's still three plates of armor that give you extra padding on your back that are non-removable. And it's not as thick, it is not a quarter inch, I think this is about an eighth inch. It also has the removable shoulder pad armor. So we can take a look at that. This is our one of our shoulder pad armors. If I pull the sleeve inside out, we also can look at our elbow armor. So you can see this is our elbow armor. So it not only covers your elbow, but it also has a little extension here that covers your forearm. On the outside, it is made of a breathable material. I think this would be a really great for the spring and fall, at least here in Texas, uh, you know, 50 degrees mark and maybe a tad below that, but anything below that, I wouldn't consider it a winter jacket. Without the lining, it's very breathable and uh, it'll make a great summer jacket. It's breathable mesh is pretty thick. I think it would hold up in a slide. And the canvas here, or whatever this is, is, is pretty thick too. I think that would hold up fairly well. In case you weren't keeping track, that was a total of 12 pockets, guys. So even if you're not a motorcyclist, I think this makes a great tactical jacket. It's very comfortable. It fits very well. 
I have no issues with it whatsoever. If this jacket wasn't sent to me for free to review and give my opinions on, would I go out and buy this jacket? Yeah, I would definitely go out and buy this jacket. I can see myself getting a lot of use out of it, and I highly recommend it. And I'll see you on the next one.